Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Kinetic Trades. So today I want to do a recap and go over my trades. So let me pull up my scanner that we have and I gotta go back to this morning and show you what the scanner was looking like. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's, let's make it to 6.15 a.m. Okay, so all right, we're at 6.15 a.m. So this morning, XTNT was gapping up, um, you know, 263%. That's a lot. I was like, wow, okay. And then SONM, ATHE, SNCA, and a few other stocks, right? And as you can see, ACB was also, you know, there. I think it was pretty popular the last few days. So XTNT, I... Even though it was gapping up, it had a good amount of shares and float as well. Um, I couldn't find any news on it, especially on my news feed. And well, I guess, huh? At the time, I didn't see this actually. It wasn't there. Even though it says 6:47, at the time I, I did check the news. I wasn't showing anything here. Maybe it was delayed or came in afterwards. But anyways, I couldn't find any news on it. Uh, and I let it go. Um, so, but even though it was gapping up, you know, I thought there must have been news somewhere. Maybe it's just not showing up over here. So I looked at it in the pre-market, right? Well, let's go all over the other stocks real quick first um, in terms of the whole watch list, right? So, yeah, we have that. And then we had SONM on watch. And as you can see, SONM had news, right? some kit news and if we go back to the other ones we had ATHE and CLSK was the ones I was watching right just because of it had lower float but more volume done at that time that's why it was more interesting to me than SNCA and it was a little bit more expensive than SNCA so now let's check out ATHE also had news right and CLSK had news as well so these were like the four stocks I was watching, right? <clears throat> so now let's go back to XTNT. XTNT was... Let's make this bigger here, right? XTNT, you know, I had this pre-market line drawn over here. Um, I wanted to see more consolidation in the opening. And I didn't want to take any opening drive trades because a lot of people can sell. And it can cause the stock to tank so that's why i wasn't feeling confident so i let it go but see what happened it actually went up and got halted at 290 and then resumed around this area right and um around maybe like three ish right three three ten and then went back up and halted again coming down look at that from 321 all the way to like 260 250 this opened up i mean people lost so much money this is why you got to take profits. I mean, if you bought this opening range, range drive and you didn't sell it in this rip here, man, you got to learn how to take profits, right? The market can go against you or go in favor of you anytime. That's why stick to your plan. Take profits along the way and break even in your remaining position, whatever that is, right? So I have a plan because look, I mean, halted, halted, and then went up a little bit and then it just sold off. That's why you don't want to buy up here because it's too extended, right? Because if you bought up here and then it fell down and you're hoping it's going to come back up, yeah, good luck. There's no hopes when it comes to the market. Let me get some water real quick. So, yeah, don't, <clears throat> don't hope. Have a plan and trade your plan. That's more important. That's what's going to make you a consistent trader. <clears throat> okay, so the next one was ATHE, right? ATHE was good. I liked it. I missed the move. I missed the opening. Um, I missed the red to green move. Sorry. So the stock, well, it wasn't really a red to green. Let me see where the stock opened up at. So it opened up at 101, which was right here. So yeah, it wasn't really a red to green move. It just opened up here and went up. So... <clears throat> I didn't really have 
a clean pattern on, on this. That's why I didn't take a trade on it. So maybe a pattern could have came up around this area, around 114, 115, you know, but I didn't really see a pattern, so I let it go. Um, but it definitely had good momentum, but you can see the candle, the first green candle wasn't that big because the second red candle was huge, right? So that's why I was like, okay, <clears throat> this is most, most likely it's going to sell off. And it's going to take a lot of work for this to come back up. And that's what happened, right? And you can tell, again, by this big red candle that took over the previous green candle. So <clears throat> next one we had on the list was, um, let me grab that real quick, was, uh, so we checked this. Oh, SONM. We didn't do that. Let's do SONM. So let's check out SONM real quick. And this is the one I did not trade, um, and I'll show you why. SONM, it opened up at, let's see, <clears throat> it opened up at 132, right? So which is around this area. So it went up, <clears throat> so it never really had a right to green move. It opened up green. So this is why it wasn't interesting to me. And again, it sold off. Even though the first, <clears throat> oh man, my voice is just not with it. <clears throat> Let me get some water. <clears throat> so even though it was a green candle, but as we went on in the day, you saw there were more red candles that added up, right? So I let it go. And then we come back to our next stock in the list, which was... I believe CLSK. Um, sorry, was it CL? Yeah, CLSK, <clears throat> and uh, I traded SNCA as well, but that came up later in my other scanner. That's why I traded it. But let's check out CLSK. CLSK again, no pattern. I didn't see it right, and then eventually I saw SNCA, which I didn't watch earlier but it was popping up on my high up day scanner, right? I mean, look at all these stocks that pop up. I mean, look at, for example, YVR from 225 all the way to three bucks, right? 318. So I didn't catch that at all. You can't catch everything. So yeah, SNCA started popping up, right? Um, look at all these stocks. I mean, this is just crazy. Today was insane. Like it was hard to catch everything. SNCA was popping up from 179. Oh, look, even earlier 150. 137 right so today was oh, 119 <laughs> yeah so this was crazy so let's check out SNCA SNCA was a right to green move right look opened up red and then took off so let's see where I got in um, before that I traded PHUN but let's see where I got in for that right so SNCA I first got in at 164 and then sold at 158 and then got in again 165. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's check that out, right? 164, which was the, where did the stock open up at? Um, it opened up at 116. So, but I got in at 164. Let's see what was that? Uh, which was this area right here for the break of this pivot, uh, break of this inflection point. So look, this it got this price got hit four times. One, two, three, four. I got a break in break of this. At 165, so it took me like a couple of tries, right? So first I tried to get in, um, and it didn't work out. So I sold for a loss actually. So I gave away some profits from my first trade, right? Um, I actually sold as fast as I could. It the stock just was so whippy. I just, yeah, it, I did the best I could. So I stuck to my plan actually. And then I got in again at 165 and sold some at 169 and sold the remaining at 175. So check that out, right? Got in around here, sold some to the rip here, and then sold the remaining around, you know, uh, this area right here. Um, yeah, so, and then my next entry was at 178, okay? 178, which was around this area right here. So which this was the other inflection point. Check that out. 
It's like 170 and 179, right? You can see 178 was hit a few times and 179 was hit a few times. So that's why that was the next inflection point to look at. And also, if we look over here, right, there's some more uh, prices that were hit that line almost. So I got in for the break of that. And then I sold this a little bit way too early. Um, yeah, I sold at 182, my 75% of my share, and then sold the remaining at 178. Look what happened, right? So I got in for the break of that. It sold literally some around this area right here, right? Thinking it was gonna maybe top off around this area and come back down, so that's why I sold some. But it came back down, it did a minor pullback, and went all the way up to 211. And my best exit with my was 182. So, I mean, I guess you can't catch everything, right? Man, but look at this thing go. I was in at one, you know, my initial trades were in at 165, and this thing went all the way up to 209. So that's why these inflection points are very important, right? And, and I'm not going to kill myself over, you know, or her, like get mad at myself over um, not catching the whole move. No, what if this thing actually went up and dipped right back down, just like what we saw with XTNT, right? Anything can happen. That's why I'd rather make some profit and leave some on the table, right? It's either you take some profit or leave some on the table. That's what's going to happen. Otherwise, you're going to be red. So that was my trade on SNCA. Now, let me show you my other trade, which was before SNCA, PHUN. This, I had on the watch list from before, so I just came to my mind. So I just, you know, looked it up and see what this stock was up to. And as you trade more, you'll remember some stock symbols and you'll just look them up to see how they're doing and if you can find some op opportunities. So that's what I did. I looked this up and this was a, let me see where I got in. So I got in at 175 and sold at 179. So I got in around this area right here for the break of, yeah, around this area right here. PHU in one second. Let me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I got in for the break of this inflection point, which was 173. As you can see, like 173, you know, ish, 174, 173 in some sense, like that was the inflection point. So as soon as it broke that, I got in and then so I sold some. Um, uh, on that write up, which was around my exit was at uh, 179, which was nearly almost at the top, right? And then I was actually waiting to get back in again for the break of this inflection point, which was 181, right? Because you can see 181 was hit over here and was hit over here as well. 181, 182 in between that. So that didn't happen. So I didn't get in and it went right back down. So that's why let the trade come to you. If you don't, then this could happen, right? Or if you hold these penny stocks overnight, especially after they have gapped up and did the whole run, you can get stuck into things like this. I'll show you right now what I showed in the other video, but I'll show it again. This, this is what can happen. So that's why play smart, play safe, let the trade come to you, stick to your plan, okay? So subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit the bell so you get the notification. Also subscribe to the Twitter channel that I have and I have that link in the description. I post my watch list there every day. I tell you guys what I'm watching, okay? I don't tell you my entries because I look for the pattern and then I get in, right? But I don't tell you my entries because you need to learn the strategy first before you can copy I mean you shouldn't be copying any trades at all you need to do your due diligence for sure so learn how to trade so you can be independent so watch these recaps so that way you can pick up on the strategy and learn from that so hopefully everyone had a good day today and I will see you guys tomorrow and let's finish a Friday off strong cool see you guys tomorrow